Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Deepak and I hope you all are preparing well for your upcoming examination. So guys, in today's lecture, we are going to cover a very important topic from your ESA syllabus. And the name of topic is Employment Generation in India. So this lecture will be important for your upcoming RBA grade B as well as NABAR grade examination. Let's start this lecture. Now before starting this lecture, I would like to request you all can you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also to receive free current affair PDF, you can always subscribe to our Telegram channel. Link is in description. Now, what is unemployment? Why are we discussing unemployment in the chapter employment generation in India? Let me tell you that question has been asked from the definitions and type of unemployment in your examination. And why we are not discussing the employment generation topic at start? Why? Because question from employment topic has been asked from schemes which are related to empl uh, employment, then data which are related to employment, then reports which are related to employment, any initiative which is related to um, employment. Question has been asked from these topics from the employment generation in India. Now, let us discuss what is an unemployment. Now, unemployment refers to a situation where a person actively searches for employment but is unable to find work. Now, a person who is searching for an um, employment or job he is capable to do the work. Also, he is willing to do the work, but he do not find any kind of job. This state, this condition is known as unemployment. Okay, now, unemployment is considered to be a key measure of health of economy. Now, this unemployment or employment is a key measure to measure the health of the economy. Okay, now, high rates of unemployment, if there is too much of unemployment in the country, so it will show, it will signal the economic distress in the country. And if there is high rates of employment or low rates of unemployment, it means there is good number of employment to the people of country, then it will show or it will signal the overheated economy. Now, what is overheated economy? Now, a low employment rate or high employment rate means economy is more likely to be producing near of near its full capacity maximizing output driving wage growth and raising living standards of the economy now if people have employment in their hand economy is working at its full capacity so wages of these employed people will increased okay, with these uh, wages increased wages the living standard of these people will also improve now, this state is known as overheated economy. Okay, now, with a good number of employment, the signal which it gives is of overheated economy. Clear, Ajit? Now, the two broadest categories of unemployment are voluntary unemployment and involuntary unemployment. Voluntary uh, unemployment means it is a voluntary. If I decide that I want to quit a job, then it is my decision. I am voluntarily uh, uh, leaving that particular job. Now, if a person left their job willingly in search of other employment, this is known as voluntary unemployment. And if he is getting fired or he is getting laid off, or then this is known as involuntary in involuntary uh, unemployment. Clearly, now. What are the other types of unemployment? Let us discuss that one by one. Now, frictional employment. It is a temporary type of employment. It occurs when a people voluntarily changes job. So if a person wants to change a job, he is going from a company A to company B, then he leaves the job in company A and is looking for a job in company B. Now, in this period in this time period he is getting unemployment unemployed so this period of unemployed is also known as uh, this period where he is getting unemployed this unemployment is known as frictional unemployment okay. so voluntary changes the job to and is looking for a job in another company so a person leaves a company it naturally takes a time to find another job so this time period is known as frictional okay. This phase is known, known as frictional unemployment. Now, next, next 
uh, unemployment type is cyclical unemployment. So cyclical unemployment is a variation in the number of unemployed workers over a course of economic upturns and downturns. So if in an economy there is some kind of upturn or downturn, in case of upturn, say everything is going as per the plan of that economy or that country, then the jobs will be increased in that particular country. And if there is any plan which is not met, say there is any kind of uh, natural disaster happened in the country or any war has happened in that country or oil prices has increased, which is not good for that particular country. So in that case, employment will get decreased. Now this state is known as cyclical unemployment. Okay? So this unemployment rises during recessionary period and decline during the period of economic growth. Unemployment decline means em employment is increasing in uh, the period of economic growth. Now other type of this unemployment is structural unemployment. Now such structural unemployment means it comes about through a technological change in the structure of economy in which labor markets operate. Excuse me. Now, in case, now let me give you an example of AI. AI means artificial intelligence. So, if artificial intelligence is fully implemented in any particular economy or in any uh, in any country, then this will lead to decrease in decrease in jobs in country. Why? Because this artificial intelligence will take care of the work of all these employed people. Now this is a technological advancement in any country. Now, this technological advancement will lead to an employment of many people. So this unemployment is known as structural unemployment. Now <laughs> institutional unemployment. Institutional employment results from long-term or permanent institutional factors and incentive in the economy. The following can all contribute to the institutional employment, government policies, laws, labor market phenomena, labor market institution. Now in case, for example, government has changed the policy of jobs in any sector, say in PSUs, the government has changed some kind of law. So this, uh, due to these policies or law, if any and any people any person get unemployed then this state is known as institutional unemployment so the unemployment which is posed by the institution is known as institutional unemployment now other type of unemployment are seasonal unemployment that situation of unemployment when people do not have work during certain season of year that is known as seasonal unemployment now for say agriculture levels so agriculture is a seasonal business, seasonal business. After say four to six years, the labor get employment in agriculture farms or fields. So during this period of unemployment, when they do not get in the work in the, uh, in the agriculture farm or field, this is known as the seasonal unemployment. Now, disguised unemployment, which is a very important type of unemployment, do remember this. So a disguisedly unemployed people person is one who seems to be unemployed but actually he is not. When more people are engaged in a job than actually required a state of disguised unemployment is created it is mostly seen as rural areas. So in case there is a shop of any kind of say there is a shop of uh, uh, there is any kind of shop say now this shop can be handled by only one person. What happened that there are this person employ another person or say some of his family member get involved in this particular shop. Now this person is disguisedly unemployment, unemployed. Why? Because he is employed but his output is zero to this particular shop or this particular business. Why? Because he is engaged in job but he is not bringing any kind of output in that particular shop or in that particular business. Why? Now this, this person, this A person can actually handle this business or this job very well. This person, this B person is employed in this particular shop 
is helping this uh, a person but his and uh, his his output is zero so this is known as disguised unemployment his output is zero he is employed his output is zero so this is disguisedly unemployed person okay ji now other type of employments are open employment open employment is a situation where a large section of labor force does not get job that may yield them regular income they are able to work or also willing to work so a large section of population who are able to work and also willing to work do not get job or unemployment this state is known as open unemployment other type of unemployment is under unemployment it is a situation under which employed people are contributing to the production less than they are capable of so in case there is a person who has done say btech or any kind of mba any kind of professional course but he is employed as a teacher in a primary school so his contribution to production will be less okay ji he could have done much better than this teaching job okay ji so this state is known as under employment okay ji chronic unemployment what is chronic unemployment now when employment unemployment tends to long term feature of a country it is known as chronic unemployment okay ji so people get unemployed for a long period of time this state is known as chronic unemployment clear ji so these are all types of the unemployment now let us discuss how this unemployment get measured okay ji so there are three types by which unemployment get measured so first is daily status approach now this unemployment state of status of a person under this approach is measured for each day in a reference week so in a reference week for each day this approach is taken care of and through this approach unemployment is measured which is known as daily status approach now first how this is measured so a person having no gainful employment even for an hour in a day so in a day if a person do not have any kind of gainful employment for one hour only and then this that person is known as unemployed for that particular day now gainful employment means here he is not get, getting wage or money for that particular work that he is providing his services for that particular hour okay other type of uh, measurement other type of approach is weekly status approach in which weekly on weekly basis this unemployment is measured okay so even for a one hour or any day in a week if he is not getting gainful employment he is unemployed theek hai ji so this is weekly status approach third is usual status approach this gives the estimate of those person who are unemployed unemployed or had no gainful employment for a major time of 365 days so in a particular year of 365 days for a major period of time if he is unemployed unemployed so that approach to which this is uh, this unemployment is calculated that approach is known as usual status approach clear hai so that's all about unemployment or employment generation in india theek hai ji now what about employment generation in india now employment generation do tell me in the comment section which which are the schemes which has been launched by the central government which is related to employment generation in india let me tell you uh, a scheme that is pradhan mantri employment generation program so this is a program this is a scheme which has been launched by the central government to generate employment in india do tell me in the comment section which are other scheme which are related to employment theek hai ji and are the flagship schemes of government of india theek hai ji so that's all for today hope you have liked this lecture do press the like button if you like this lecture also do share this lecture with your friends also if any if you have any query do uh, share your queries in the comment section below i would love to uh, resolve your query theek hai ji so see you tomorrow till then prepare hard